welcome to today's Nairobi News Bulletin. My name is Christine Mayama. Drivers of ride-hailing company Uber on Thursday went on a rampage and forced passengers who were using their rides to alight. Traffic was brought to a standstill on some busy roads in the city as drivers stopped their cars and kicked out the passengers. This comes barely a week after Uber Kenya softened its stance, saying it's seeking a solution to the standoff. Because of you, because the constitution allows you to, to do procession. Yes, yes, yes. Article 36 and 37. Yes. Katiba, yes. Yes. Kabisa. Yes. Kabisa. 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 Kenyans have reacted in shock after a Daily Nation expose on extreme bullying and torture at one of Kenya's best schools, Alliance High School. In the report, more than 10 former students recounted being beaten up with hockey sticks and electricity cables, slapped and forced to lie on the graves of the school's founders for hours on end at the night to swim on the grass. One of the students has been reduced to walking on crutches as a result of the severe beating. Kenyans called for the prosecution of the school management. Police are looking for a house help who stole a gun from her employer in Lovington on Wednesday. The house girl, identified as Florence Nabuire, broke the safe and made away with the firearm and money of different denominations at 11 a.m. while her employer was at work. Police say she has escaped in the company of an unknown number of people in a yellow vehicle. Kenyan teenage footballer Joshua Oteno could be on the verge of a dream move to the English Premier League a day after he was taken in for trial at Hull City Academy. The 16-year-old Kakamega High School student was part of the Sport Pesa All-Stars squad that recently toured England and lost 2-1 in a friendly match against the English club's development side. If accepted, Oteno could earn as much as 700,000 shillings a week. And finally, police in Eldoret on Wednesday evening stormed a house in Capsoya Estate and arrested 24 secondary school students said to have been binge drinking and having sex. Six of the students climbed over the wall of the compound and escaped, according to police. The students, said to be aged between 16 and 18, were on half-term break and had met in the house for a party. They belonged to different schools in Western Gishu County. At June, you know, Kujanga, there was just like a bash. They were almost like something stupid. 30 of them were in the rock. But in the interview, I was in the and that's it for us from now for these and more stories log on to www.nairobinews.co.ke i am christine mama goodbye